The other day I had some experimentations with a tagua nut or vegetable ivory and uh, I made a few plectrums. Once I'd finished the video I realised that the plectrums were far too slippery and I came back down to the workshop and put a chequered pattern into one of them. Uh, I showed this and you guys said, hey Ben, show us how you did that. Burn it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yay! I am not an expert. I bought at full retail a checkering toolkit. This is something that gun stock makers and fine pen knife makers uh, have been utilizing for centuries to help keep a grip on the device that you are trying to keep a grip on. I'm sure there was a better sentence in there somewhere. And uh, it's just intensely attractive. I one day hope to build a guitar based on uh, a, a custom shotgun or something like that. Uh, in fact, based on a, um, a gorgeous pen by Mont Blanc in collaboration with Purdy's that I saw once and fell in love with and will never be able to justify purchasing, but it's a beautiful thing. And it has brought me to here and you, Plectrums. So without any more preamble, on with playing with these tools. So here's the tool set I've got. Uh, 16 lines per inch. Um, it comes with a few things. This is a, uh, a checkering tool gauge to work out, well, 16 is the biggest, and it goes all the way through to 32, which would be the finest, but for what we want, nice and coarse is the thing. And this helps you lay out the patterns if you're doing something massive. And it's also got some basic instructions, which are pretty cool. And here is the set. Now, I want to get a few more. What I don't have is the skip line cutters. Uh, you've got your individual tools. There's a longer one and a shorter one. And uh, that cuts the line. You've then got these beautiful double things where one side is smooth. And once you've cut your first line, the smooth one be it on the left or the right hand side, we've got both, goes in the line that you've already cut and then that guarantees that the spacing is accurate and correct. You can get triple line ones as well. Once you're done, you've got something that's got two cutting sides and that will just um, go through and make everything nice and deep and work. And there we go. Uh, it's, it's really very simple and straightforward. It's just a case of going at it. I, in fact, I think marking out is more important. So that's one where the left-hand side is smooth and you've got a cutting edge. That's your double cutting edge. You can see I have been playing with these quite a bit. Single. I think we've got a single coarse and a single fine. And there's a very short single one. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. I think just specific or more precision. And then that's a left-hand side. It's the opposite side to whatever I said earlier. And it's a good little set. But uh, what I do want now is I need to get myself some skip line cutters. Essentially, when you're marking out your pattern like that, and that's fantastic, albeit a little bit rough, and then you skip a line, and then you have your outline going around. And that's what that skip line thing is for. It has that for just fantastic drawing skills and, and, and camera work at the same time. I mean, gosh darn it. Uh, anyway, on to the real work. That's uh, what I've already done. This is the fatter of the two. This was the first plectrum that I made in the video the other day. Now I'm gonna stick that to this Crimson Guitars sanding block. And you have all seen the masking tape and super glue trick, so too early in the morning. I appear to be a little bit cack-handed today. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be stable enough, so I'm going to put quite a bit on. That actually works quite well. 
Yeah, that'll do. Now, once you've got your initial lines, uh, this is three, which means it yields diamonds three times longer than their width. Uh, on the first one that I did, I just I just guessed, uh, and it worked all right. But uh, yeah, let's do this one properly then. I'm going to start with just a single cutter. I'm going to start by putting this in a vise, actually. So, single cutter, and very carefully, forget it. No, hold on. I'm remembering what I did last time because this is so delicate and curved. Okay, that now gives something for my file to follow. And then we move on to this one where the right hand side of the tool is smooth and we've got a cutting tool on the left. The right hand one sits in the groove we've already made and the left cuts and it's incredible. Like so. Now the other side, just to make that a bit more even, and that is a pattern I'm happy with. Maybe a tinsy bit there, actually. Now onto the other side, same process. And on we go. So using just three tools, I've got uh, an okay pattern. It's not quite as even as it could be, uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty all right. Uh, at this stage now, I'm going to take the double cutter and just go over everything. Now my problem is a lot of the lines are shorter, so uh, it's going to take a little bit of work. but I'm just making this deeper. Not perfect, but not bad. So you can see here, if you watch the other video, there was a, um, a little bit of a shake within the Tagua nut that I used. And you can see just a little bit of that there. But basically, I'm really happy with that. Now I've got the other side to do. And so, and here's the other side with a little bit of thought, not quite enough. I've made it, I'm not entirely sure if it's better or not, but uh, at least I've stayed within the lines and it is, uh, it is what it is. But you can, if you draw things out, I haven't quite centered it properly, 
much <laughs> should have gone there. But uh, yeah, you can do some pretty amazing things with this process. And uh, oh, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below. I much prefer the other side. Well, there we go. So I could have just not gone over in places. Anyway, it definitely has a little bit more grip. I mean, ball grip that I'm ever going to need. Thank you very much for watching. Click like, subscribe. It really helps, and I do appreciate it uh, if you already have. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, ask away. I see almost all the comments, and I reply to as many as humanly possible, which is quite a few. Um, I need ideas for videos. If you want these shorter tutorials or shorter project videos, let me know what you want to see and I will see if I can make it happen. Um, we're done. The next video is Saturday and that is going to be episode two of the new full scratch guitar build and go and check out criminalguitars.com this weekend, Black Friday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. We will have a limited sale on courses and all finishes and things. So yeah, check that out. And thank you again for your support. Goodbye.